Hello everyone and welcome to Rewind the Year 2013 episode 4. So today's episode is all about Impress Key. It was supposed to be about Love is Not for Sale, but this is yet another sea drama where the English subs are no longer available and Right now, it's impossible for me to go back and check it out in the original language. That is just 50 odd episode of struggle, and I don't want to do that, honestly. So I'm going to keep the score that I gave it originally, which was 8.5 over 10. Now, coming back to Impress Key, oh boy. This is the end of an era. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. Every time I convince myself that the next time is going to be better. But it's just disappointment <laughs> after disappointment because this was a disaster. I don't know why I was thinking in 2013, but aside from one or two shows, the rest has just been just... It's wrong, wrong for so many different reasons. So this one, I could not even finish it. It was asking too much of me to continue watching the episode. I made it all the way to episode 21, and I promise you, it was a struggle each and every episode. It's like I had to prep myself into watching a show it's like okay just one episode today one episode today and at some point I was like no there's no reason why I should keep torturing myself with those episodes I don't know what I saw in this originally because wow so many things um I liked excitement to continue the episode to be honest every time an episode was over I'm like oh well that was this and then I moved on with my day. By episode 15, I knew that things were not going well. You know, at first I was like, maybe it's a slow, it's a slow burn. You know, it's take time to really, really get into the episodes. And, you know, all the shows used to take 10, 15 episodes just to set the scene. So I, I was like, keep on pushing, keep on pushing, it will get better. But by episode 15, I was like, yeah, no, this is not for me. Too many tropes that I am no longer into. I think that's what it boils down to, ultimately. It's like, there's just so many things that I can no longer tolerate. And because they are all found within this one show, it was very difficult for me to still be excited. You know, this is a show that has 50 plus episodes. Imagine the struggle, you know, if just one episode is asking so much of me to finish it. Imagine going through 50 plus episodes of updated tropes and just things that are no longer in for me you know the main female lead was just too annoying it's so interesting because she was one of the reasons why i loved the show at first um i remember being obsessed with her and everything but now that i've rewatched it no i don't like her character i don't like um just the way she carries herself in the show um so it was just not giving for me honestly um the chemistry between some of the actors was just off and it was a struggle it's like sometimes it felt like it was not even filmed in the same room and it's insane to me it's like something was off with just the vibe and everything, the interactions. Even when she was like with her love interest, I was not even excited because I didn't feel anything, you know. There was so much lack of chemistry. Um, the My favorite character out of everyone was definitely the Prince of Choreo. He is my favorite on the show and it was like my lifeline. Every time I will get excited when I saw him on the show but at some point it was like if I, I'm only watching just to see him and um, then what happens to the rest of the episode because now when he interacts with just other people I was like uh, no 
and I just could not do it. I forwarded, fast forwarded so many scenes. Like by episode 16, I think I started watching the show at like two times the, the, the normal pace because I was like, no, 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 no. Uh, our scene, the main lead scene with the emperor, it was a struggle to go through. I don't know. I don't know about you guys. Um, I don't know how many of you guys have seen the show, but I don't know. I was not feeling anything. It's like it was so forced. And every time they would interact, I was like, this is so awkward. You know, <laughs> it was just like something so off about the whole thing. And at some point, I was like, I don't understand why those men are so crazy in love with her. What's the appeal? Like, nothing ab about what I'm saying refers to the actress. Don't get me wrong. I don't have an issue with the actress. She is wonderful. It's her character that I just cannot do it. And unfortunately, because she is the main lead, there was no way for me to kind of remove her from the entire show and it ruined everything else for me. So since I did not finish the show, I'll give it like a standard score of 5 over 10. Every show that I don't finish, I think that's the mark that I'm going to give them. And it's insane because originally I gave the show 8.5 over 10, but now, nope. I just cannot do it. Um, it's a shame, but sometimes, you know, even though um, you might like certain actors, when the pairing is not done really well, even your love for an actor cannot make things work. Because I love The Emperor. I really love his series. I love his shows. And um, I like to see him act. But for, for some reason... This three, it was not working. And um, even the main lead, like in other shows, have been excited um, about with her and her performance and everything. But just the chemistry between the leads were not, was non-existent and everything just felt off. So unfortunately, this is yet another favorite of mine that has collapsed. I don't know what... Things are going to look like by the end of the series because 2013 might turn out to be the worst year of dramas for me. Let me know in the comments if you watched the show until the end and if it's like your favorite of all time. What do you think about it? Is it a show that you can watch 50 times and not get tired of? And let me know everything that you love about Impress Key. That's it for me today. You can check out the other episode of the series on the channel.